Hi, this is Ms. Nitschke. In this podcast, you will be reviewing what a volcano is and learning about the different types of volcanoes. Let's begin. What is a volcano? Volcanoes are formed when material from inside the earth reaches the surface. This happens because of the heat from within the inner core pushes out and the mantle, which is melted or melted rock, heats up and breaks through faults in the crust. There are three types of volcanoes. The first one I'm gonna talk about is called the shield volcano. The shield volcano has a few things about it to help you know and identify that it is a shield volcano. The first thing is that it has gently sloped sides, meaning it's not very steep. Also, the eruptions are low and gentle. Lastly, this type of volcano is formed from layers of cooled lava, meaning once the lava is emitted from the volcano, it will then dry and form different new layers for the volcano. A few examples of a shield volcano are Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea in Hawaii. This second type of volcano is called the cinder cone volcano. A few things to know about the cinder cone volcano is that it is cone shaped, hence the name cinder cone volcano. Also, it has sudden violent eruptions, making these types of volcanoes more severe and probably more well known. Lastly, cinder cone volcanoes are formed from ash, cinder, and dust. Some examples of cinder cone volcanoes are Mount Paracutin and Mount Isalco. Lastly, the third type of volcano is known as the composite volcano. A few things about composite volcanoes. Number one, it's a volcano built of alternating layers of cinder and lava. If you don't know what cinder is, cinder is another name for ash. Therefore, there are different layers of ash and lava being emitted from this composite volcano. Another thing is that composite volcanoes are cone-shaped, but these have very steep sides, unlike the cinder cone volcano. Lastly, it has both violent and gentle eruptions. Scientists aren't really sure or and aren't able to predict what kind of eruption it is going to be, but I find it interesting that they have both violent and gentle eruptions. A few examples of composite volcanoes are the well-known Mount Vesuvius and Mount St. Helens. Now is time for you to take a chance and look at these volcanoes and try and figure out what type of volcano it is. What kind of volcano do you think this is? This is Mount Shasta, and it is a composite volcano. Notice the cone-shaped mound and steep sides. Over the last 10,000 years, Mount Shasta has erupted on average once every 800 years. During the 3,500 years the volcano has erupted, about once every 300 years. The most recent eruption may have occurred in 1786 AD. Take a look at this volcano. What kind do you think this is? This is Diamond Head, and it is an eroded cinder cone volcano. Eroded meaning worn away. Something to know about this volcano is that early sailors mistakenly thought glistening calcite crystals inside the tough rocks were diamonds, leading to the incorrect name. Diamond head formed when hot magma rose up in a conduit and it hit ocean water, causing large explosions that threw exploded magma particles into a broad ring. Lastly, take a look at this volcano. This volcano is known as Koala, and it is a shield volcano. Notice the low, 
gently sloped sides. Koala is the oldest of the sub-aerial vo volcanoes that make up the island of Hawaii. Koala is considered to be extinct because it has not erupted for 60,000 years. Well, that's all, and I hope that you've learned a little bit about the different types of volcanoes. Let's review. There are shield volcanoes, cinder cone volcanoes, and composite volcanoes. I invite you that if you have Play-Doh, to take your Play-Doh and reform and make these different types of volcanoes based on the definitions given to you here in this podcast. I hope you enjoyed it.